This is a watercolor line and wash. It's just a fun little painting. Just having fun doing it. It actually is a bit of a cartoon-like painting. It's not as much, uh, you know, uh, realistic as you might think. The purpose of the painting is just to have a little decorative watercolor bright flowery little painting for the wall. I'm using a Micron Deluxe. D-E-L-U-X. It has to be the Deluxe Micron or else it will not be waterproof. The Deluxe are waterproof. This one is the uh, 0 0.5 millimeter. Now the watercolors are uh, all Windsor Newton. This would be Windsor Newton, a purple, with a little bit of blue in it, you know, whatever. Just a light, a very light background color for the purple flower. Now we are directly into the purple from Windsor Newton. You don't have to do it in this color. You could do it in red or yellow or orange. This is orange, Windsor Newton orange. Now we're moving into a quinacridone magenta, a, a beautiful red that was generously given to me by a good artist in Saskatoon, Canada, Lucille Lowe. It was very nice of her to share her colors and wisdom with me. Now we're into a lemon yellow. I think the little bee is kind of cute. <laughs> kind of adds something. <laughs> I don't know what. 
but it is sort of a cartoon. As long as it's cute and colorful, make beautiful wall decoration. This is sap green. Sap green with a little bit of red to make an orange color. I wanted the pot to be a little different than the, than the floral flower, so I chose this turquoise. That would be burnt umber, a brown, dark brown. That is just a hint of gray to cut back the little reflective portion of the V. Now we're back to our Micron Deluxe Pen. Darkening the uh, throat of the of the flowers with the same colors that were used before. This would be an uh, orange from Windsor Newton. And purple.
It's a number six round brush. It looks to me like it has been used. <laughs> I've used it for a very long time. The handle is becoming, losing its paint. That's okay. As long as you keep them clean, they last for months, maybe a year. This is burnt umber, which is a dark brown. It looks like I did the entire painting with one brush. Number six round. Well, that's about it. I enjoyed doing it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Give it a try. All you need is a, and I'm just working on regular uh, paper. Now, this is not watercolor paper or anything special. I believe it's called cardstock. You can buy it any place at Walmart or dollar store. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. Yes, thank you for watching and subscribe if you want more videos.